There, they live in grey containers and other forms of temporary housing while awaiting decisions on their asylum requests to be moved to other towns in Italy. Many of the refugees and migrants are without documents and all wear a plastic yellow bracelet. The Pope wore one bearing his name and the number 3900003 on his right wrist. It was given to him by an African refugee. Many who don't know you are afraid of you, he told them as a light drizzle fell. That makes them think they have the right to judge you, coldly and harshly, he said. He paid homage to those who never arrived because they were eaten up by the desert or the sea. Some 600,000 impoverished migrants and refugees have arrived in Italy in less than four years. In that time, more than 13,000 have died trying to cross the Mediterranean. If we look on our neighbors without mercy we risk that even God will look on us without mercy, he said. The Pope's defense of migrants, his second in less than a week, comes at a time of growing anti-immigrant sentiment in the United States and many European countries where far-right parties have made inroads. Francis called on more governments to facilitate initiatives backed by the private sector and community groups to set up humanitarian corridors for refugees in the most difficult situations. This was a reference to programs such as one run in Italy by the Rome-based Sant Egidio Peace Community, which regularly brings into Italy refugees fleeing the civil war in Syria. Italy's anti-immigrant Northern League, whose base is in the regions just north of Bologna, has vowed to clamp down on migration from developing countries if it forms part of a coalition government after next year's elections.